So, the theme song's back by popular demand, and I do believe I may have scared you with that unnecessary shouting. I do apologize, but not really. You may or may not know that I recently entered a contest. The first round of the contest is to get enough votes to get into the top 25. Well guess what? I've got exciting news! I did not get into the top 25! Now let's do some math here. 790 of you voted for me, thank you, and 31,346 of you watched my video. And that translates to a whopping 2.5% of you voted. <laughs> that, that's so sad. We are the wine cult. We practice conism. We are cone heads. I expected you to do my bidding and you have failed me. But not really. I'm just kidding. Chillax. I really, really hate the word chillax and I have no idea why I used it. And now I want to kill myself. I actually didn't know about the contest until several days before it was going to end, so I mainly blame my PR department for that. Your glasses are going up and down. Yeah, I know. It's like an earthquake. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's ah. funny. Ah. But in all seriousness, I do thank all of you, all 2.5% of you who voted for me. Thank you. This failure of mine reminds me of other failures I've experienced on the World Wide Web. For example, you may know about the failure that I faced when I tried making an ad for a certain gum company. Apparently, subtle references to Two Girls One Cup is a no-no for business as they decided not to be associated with my video. I guess they didn't want people to think of digesting poop while chewing gum. Who knew? There was also that time in the summer of 2006 when Lonely Girl 15 was getting huge. Now if you don't know who Lonely Girl 15 is, just a small time girl living in a lonely world. She was a teenage girl who posted vlogs on YouTube talking about everyday girl stuff. Well, not like the cotton sticks with the blood and the swelling of the hmm. I just meant normal everyday crap the girls talk about when they're in front of their cameras. But then it was somehow revealed that she was a fake, that she was an actress. And the whole thing was done by a production crew, and her videos turned into some weird J.J. Abrams storyline. Anyway, before everyone found out she was fake, obviously everyone thought she was real, including yours truly. That would be me. This is where I failed because I failed to realize that she was a fictional character. I had actually seen a video of hers where she talks about her boyfriend troubles, so being the nice and gentle and kind and sweetheart that I am, I shot her a message and we started talking. Like actual messages back and forth. Let's embarrass myself, shall we? We shall! This is an actual screenshot of a conversation I had with her. And this is one of the messages she sent me. Yeah, well, he's not really talking to me right now, so I'm not sure what's going on. Sad face. I think I was stupid to put that video up. I'm such a retard. Sad face. And this is how I replied. Yeah, sometimes you have to think hard before putting out something. Whether it be a video, writing, or anything for that matter. On the internet, the world is watching. Sometimes we do things that we regret, and that's okay. It's a part of life. It's a learning process. I hope everything turns out okay between you two. Okay, who the hell was I talking to if she wasn't real? Was it some old producer dude? I have no idea, and it's seriously messed up. And now, my favorite failure of all time. Back in 2008, when Twitter wasn't as popular as it is today, a certain competitor of theirs, who did the same microblogging theme, came to me asking me to join and promote their site. I was actually considering it and wanted to know more, so I exchanged contact information with their Vice President of Marketing and Business Development. My final email to this guy was when I failed. This is what I wrote. 
I'd be open to set up a time to chat, sure. Give me a time and date and we'll talk business. Or talk sexually suggestively and send nudes. Either or. I hope you have a sense of humor. Tony. Apparently, he did not have a sense of humor. At all. Because I never heard from him again. I had actually added him to MSN and AIM messaged him, but not once did he ever reply. I'm guessing he thought I was going to cyber rape him or something. He would be right. But seriously, she even talked about me in a freaking video. God damn it. And then there's the wine cone, or wine, just wine cone, I'm not sure. Um, you are totally retarded, but I like it.